television highlights of the news of yesteryear. War without end in the East. Japan and China have been locked in conflict since 1894. And 1933 sees Japanese Emperor Hirohito exhorting his troops to even greater inroads into China. Manchuria fell the year previous. The border province of Reho was conquered the year before that. And now the heart of China is threatened. As Jap troops cross the frozen Huangho River in preparation for attack on the Great Wall of China. Armed aggression that conquered Korea in 1910 is meeting with little resistance here. Although Chinese armies are concentrating on defense behind the Great Wall. The scenes you are watching were filmed with the actual fire with the relentless onward march of the Japanese sweeping everything before it. So rapid is the advance that the troops are in danger of bombing from their own planes. As token defenses fall back before the onslaught, Kwantung army troops are ready for the key struggle against the strategic Great Wall. The breakthrough will be attempted north of Beijing. And in 1935, despite heroic Chinese sacrifices, they broke through. Beijing, Tinsin, Hobei, and Yahar were overrun. Jap-controlled officials replaced former city dignitaries, but the Chinese fight on. Defenses crumble, however, as the might of Japan's mortars takes severe toll of defenders. But even as Henry Pu Yai, Jap-controlled Manchurian emperor, sees his country being conquered, the League of Nations goes into session to officially censure Japanese attacks. Action by the League resulted in the resignation of Japan, with explanation coming from Japanese Prime Minister Yatsuki Matsuoko. If Japan decides to leave the League, it will not, let me assure you, mean that she departs upon a course opposed to that of the League. Japan will continue in her fight against chaos and in her effort to recover peace in the Far East. In 1937, after a comparative lull in actual combat, Shanghai is threatened. Soon this tremendous seaport is to fall to Japanese armies. Japanese marines go into action against disorganized defenders and attempt to blast resistance by suicide Chinese infantrymen. Results of the encounter are foregone, but the invading horde finds complete conquest difficult as patriotism and heroism join hands to combat superior armament. Planes from the city, fires break out, and civilians flee to shelter. Shanghai is doomed. Panic seizes the population. Fear drives thousands in a desperate move to the safety of the international settlement. As the populace leaves reason behind in its mad lunge to live, police are called to maintain a semblance of order and prevent women and children from being trampled to death. The exodus of non-combatants is spurred on across the International Settlement Bridge by Japanese bombing planes, which donated to despair by direct hits on the heart of the city. Still, the Chinese defenders continue to fight. Disorganized groups battle on. Bombing planes are plagued by individual anti-aircraft guns. Shanghai is a shambles as organized resistance ends. Those who can move flee, the helpless remain. Historic shot that tells the Shanghai story. Now Japanese troops set out after snipers. The Marines are mopping up. Shanghai has joined the provinces and cities overrun by the hordes of Hirohito. Soon there will be no resistance. Soon no shots fired from rooftops at the victorious Japs. For the thorough invaders are seeking out last stand snipers and a smitten city will stand by in silence. Shanghai has fallen, but China has not. Chiang Kai-shek calls for greater effort by his troops. Although tension in the East is eased by World War II, ultimate fate of China is still a mystery.
mystery of the Mona Lisa. The Louvre, renowned Parisian art museum, scene of the mysterious disappearance of the world-famous painting, the Mona Lisa. August 22, 1911, the Mona Lisa vanished from its place of honor on the inside of the Louvre. Only these silent statues witnessed the theft. Two years passed before the painting was recovered in Italy to rejoin artistic works like this Venus de Milo. But then came an announcement that shocked the world of art. Exhibited in the United States in 1927, it was denounced as a copy. Now three paintings of the Mona Lisa exist, but experts can't agree which is Leonardo da Vinci's original painting. It's the middle 1920s, and the creator of Sherlock Holmes, Arthur Conan Doyle on right, is met in New York by Secret Service head William J. Burns. Crime masters of fiction and fact. If this doesn't take you back, nothing will. It's the first of the Western movie stars, the impassive, imperturbable scion of the six-gun, William S. Hart. One of the earliest Western scenes ever filmed. Okay, violence, reach for the sky, I'll fire that daylight through you all, y'all. Don't anybody move on account of I gotta rob the roulette wheel. I've been playing ping pong, and I need a new ball. Oh ho, our hero's been spotted, but he's okay. Have a heart, William S., that is. It's 1929, and Ethel Barrymore Colt is graduated from Notre Dame Convent. Miss Colt at extreme right is the daughter of famous actress Ethel Barrymore, shown here with her son, Samuel. Ethel Barrymore and her mother, Georgia Drew Barrymore, are Notre Dame Convent alumni. End of World War I and return to his Tennessee home of America's outstanding doughboy, the redoubtable Sergeant York. The sergeant, born and raised here in Paul Ball, Tennessee, came from a typical backwoods family. His mother is proud of his accomplishments. And brother Robert gets a German helmet as a souvenir. The sergeant's aunts, Nancy, Sarah, and Anne, pure early American. A second elder in this church, Sergeant York was a conscientious objector during the early stages of World War I, but when he got into action, he killed 25 Germans single-handed and captured 132, including a major and three lieutenants, and is credited with putting 35 enemy machine guns out of action. Nothing backwards about this backwards boy, America's number one World War I hero. This is Sergeant York. Let's go back to 1926 to see if fur styles have changed greatly through the years. A fashion show in Chicago brings out a wrap with Norwegian fox collar and hem. Mink with shawl collar, sloping shoulders, and full sleeves. Not too different, is it? Ermine wrap with beaver collar. And now what have we here? It's a squirrel coat with fox trimming and cuffs. This creation sports a flowered applique design on its lining, considered quite the thing in 26. Black caracal wrap with white fox and flowered lining. Mink wraparound with shawl collar, winged sleeves. This one's chinchilla. Fur fashions haven't changed much. Well, not too much, anyhow. Brussels, Belgium, immediately after World War I, and first transport service by airplane is inaugurated. motor biplane used as a bomber in the 1914-18 conflict inaugurates an era in aviation for this Paris to Brussels route is the forerunner of the transport planes of later years which were to make luxurious and speedy trips an everyday occurrence for thousands of travelers. The 
let's go to 1926 for lacrosse. Maud Wansborough is on an Oxford-Cambridge team starring American Frank Morley and Captain Hopkins, which is playing Harvard at Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's an old Indian game, and the visiting Britishers have the Indian sign on the crimson, winning this one 4-2. At the University of Pennsylvania, Oxford Cambridge in white uniforms tackles the lacrosse team representing U of P and jolly well does it again. After what seems to be a rather frantic bit of direction changing, the English athletes win by a little matter of eight goals to none. Not cricket, old man. Upset in Coast Gridiron Clash, it's 1929, and the University of California's Golden Bears meet favored Southern California. Here, USC blasts its way 12 yards after taking a kick on its own 20. California's ball on Southern Cal, seven. Two shots at the line, and it's on the one. And Gill of California takes it over. California's underdog 11 leads at halftime and maintains its advantage in the second half despite this brilliant touchdown run by USC's Lum, who speeds through the entire California 11 for his team's only score. Final, California 15, USC 7.